Leo, any more news, or does that wrap up the news segment today? Well, last item I have, uh, and thanks to Jabo sending us uh, yes. the uh, D and D toys. Oh yeah, fire D twenty gelatinous cube. Excelsior! Oh, that that right there, Jeremy. You can use it on any six inch action figure. They're saying. Really? That you sounds can actually... dirty. You can stick, you can stick the figure inside the center of it yeah. and have its hand reaching out of it. Oh, I mean, awesome. oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I am like super stoked um, to see another Dungeons and Dragons movie because I've seen the first two. Um, a oh lot yeah, of there's uh, the guy from Guardians. Yeah, I mean, that's Chris Pratt right there. Yep. Um, but I mean, they weren't received well, but I still gave them a shot to, to watch, and I'm kind of excited to to see this. That one is not in the movie there, Leo. Stop looking at that one. All right, that, that sure one is what, not in the movie. So these are available on Hasbro Pulse right now. Yep, and the dragons right there actually turn into D20s, which is pretty cool. What are D20s for us non- For you non-D&D guys, it's a 20-sided die. You either roll the critical one roll or a critical 20. Okie dokie. You must roll for initiative. That's how good, if you're good with your article, you'll roll the d20 to see if it's good or bad. Ooh, the, but, um, what was the eyeball? I didn't see that before. Oh, the beholder. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh that's another die. Okay. Yep, it's another d20. They got, one, two, I think, three of them. No, four. There's four of them. There's an owl bear. Oh, oh, they're die that change into creatures. Yes. Into Transformers. There now, you go. these ones, I wish oh, had dungeon master. looked better. I don't think they look as good. I've seen, I've actually seen a friend of mine actually has the Dungeon Master 2 pack because he pre-ordered it from Target yeah. and got it. And um, he says it's a phenomenal figure. Not yeah. much articulation, you know, that not much articulation in those. Um, yeah, Dungeon Master's face looks looks like a <laughs> uh, really bad troll. But um, he said Venture. the other the other basic figures, um, like um, the Barbarian and the Uni, um, really good. Um, he said the Ranger, uh, the Amazon, um, really good. But Venger and Dungeon Master don't have much articulation in the um, arms and stuff like that. Oh, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he gets yeah, two. Yeah, Bobby I looks think he has, really good, actually. He has I have like to two. Say facial wise. Yeah, Bobby has, I think, two heads, I think. I think it's two heads that he comes with. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. But these all come with a D20 die with them, which is pretty cool. I, I still find them a little too expensive. $25 for a figure is like... Yeah. Well, yeah. the reason figure. why... Figure reason and why... transforming die. Well, true, but still, well, I'm like... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little high. Remember back in the day when figures were only three dollars? Yeah, but they're now <laughs> it's, worth it's KB toys. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the reason why the figures are so expensive is because the cost of plastic has gone up oh, drastically. I know. Like, sure. Even getting like, our there's... mylar bags are not as cheap as they used to be. Um, Believe I remember me. you used to get like what over like two hundred yeah. bags for like I don't know like ten bucks. Now it costs you more than that, you know. But and sometimes there's shortages, so you have to freaking wait weeks. Yeah, and yes. then, you know, the ones you get, if they're the cheap ones, they tear. Oh, they the tear other. wicked easy. Well, th that, that's why I, I spend a little extra, and I got I get the better quality ones and the self-sealing. and Yeah. Yeah. I always yeah. go with the self-sealing. I've had too many tape pulls on different comics, and yeah, I yeah. gave up on that. I was like, hell no. And the Dungeons and Dragons movie is due out, I believe... That actually looks really good. I'm kind of shocked how how much effort they put into it. Chris Pratt's in it. I mean, he makes plans. Yeah, but like, I'm just saying, like it's Dungeons and Dragons. It's a it's a franchise that has been around hasn't for... had a lot of success, but it hasn't had a lot of success in the the world of television movies. and movies. Yeah, except yeah. for that and, uh, really old one with Tom Hanks in it that really like showed oh like, i remember that you know what i'm talking about Jeremy. yeah where, where... when they were making out D, &D to be like uh devil worshipping stuff right and, oh, and kinda... where... tom yeah hanks... tom tom hanks played a guy that he took everything literal like he yeah. was like seeing things he went to the sores killed the person 
you know, and uh, that's where like D and D got a really bad rap. Yeah. You know, like we're, we're watching, uh, I think 1883 and Tom Hanks showed up for like uh, oh, a no scene. Shit. Yeah. Did he roll a critical 20? I'm no. loving Yellowstone. Yeah. Holy crap. I told you I, you will. Dude, I just can't, that... I can't get into the Westerns. I'm sorry. Dude, it's like a western. Uh, what's that? The biker show. The the oh, Sons, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, I'm like, holy crap! This dude, you join that that ranch, and it, it's for life. Yeah. 